The Pan Mass Challenge is a two-day bike-a-thon, usually run on the first weekend in August. It's a fundraiser for the Jimmy Fund, which ultimately results in the funds going right to the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. This is just my 11th year riding in the Pan Mass Challenge. When I turned 50, I decided I needed to do some things health-wise, trying to give back to a community. One of those days many years ago, sitting on Route 6 on the Cape and watching all these bikers going by wondering what it was. I've always been on a bike my whole life and I decided that that's what I needed to do. So back in uh, 2008, I committed to be able to ride in this event. Over the course of the two days, the traditional route starts in Sturbridge on uh, Saturday morning Morning, usually 5.30 a.m. and goes to Bourne, Mass. It's 109 miles. And then the second day starts in Bourne at Mass Maritime and ends at the end of the Cape at the Provincetown Inn, another 83 miles to be able to complete 192 miles over the course of the two days. I ride for a variety of reasons. The main thing is honoring my parents. Both passed away due to complications from cancer. I realized it has become much more than that since then but it's become one of my favorite weekends of the year. Oh, at the top of the jersey are my parents' names. And then I have friends and family, people that wanted to make a donation to the ride. And I can put a name on the jersey. I do ride for Elaine Sortino and Sam Koch, two of my favorite fellow coaches and people that I have known, honoring them. But right now we're talking about 55, 58 names that are on that jersey right now. All of people that are, for one reason or another, friends wanted to, to donate to the ride. There are people that are there in memoriam, in honor of, and also as living proof, which is those that have been through cancer, they've survived, their names are there riding with me. But one of the special things that I do every year is I meet a young man named Ethan, and he usually is outside the Nickerson State Park water stop. He stands there with a sign, and he's got his family around him, and his sign reads, thank you for riding, because of you, I'm, and on the sign, he crosses off his age. And he started this when he was about five or six years old. He turned 16 this year. So he's got all these years that he has been standing there because of the treatment he received at Dana-Farber. It's a special, important thing that he is there to me because it, it makes it very real that this young man has been through cancer treatment and has really been able to survive because of what I might be doing on the bike. It becomes a special part of my weekend to see Ethan, to see another year crossed off. That becomes reality as to why we're doing this and why the PMC functions.